Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Hubert Law from Trustpix. How are you today? Fantastic, Tracy. Thank you for having us. So last year, record earnings. And this year, we have an acquisition and you continue to be in a position where you're basically scalable. Is that correct? Absolutely. We're, we're in that scale up phase. It's very exciting. And not only that, but you're really positioning yourself in the agribusiness uh, sector. Tell us a little bit more about what you're doing right now. Well, the key thing is that how do you tell the story of the food journey right from the farm until it becomes uh, uh, food in someone's table? So we call it gate to plate. And the, the idea there is that we want to do it in a legitimate, validated way so that consumers can get what they want. Retailers and wholesalers are able to track and be a legitimate, uh, create legitimate claims so that they're not greenwashing uh, as many would call the, the industry today. Uh, and that uh, at the same time, we work with the processors and, and retailers to drive financial incentives back to the farms so that the uh, farming operations are even more profitable and that they, they'll continue to do what they do, which is create amazing food for us all. Well, speaking of that, I'd love for you to not only uh, expand on what you mean by greenwashing, but you must be an ESG uh, funds dream for basically what you're doing for the planet. Can you explain to the ESG funds out there why you're such an attractive company to be for them to be looking at? Well, what we have is a um, access to the farm data, which is really difficult to get because if you imagine many of the farmers, ranchers, they know what they're doing in terms of producing food. They do not know or nor are they motivated to enter data into the supply chain so the rest of us can see it and make claims according to it. So when you're looking at ESG targets from the retailer side or from the corporation side downstream, is that how do they make ESG uh, uh, metrics work for them within their supply chain or within their food production without information? And that's where TrustPix comes in. We're able to <clears throat> tie together. So we integrate, aggregate, and then report on the information that is important to our customers. And quite often it is driven by their ESG metrics. And for everybody out there who really not only cares about their food, which is pretty much all of us, um, you were explaining in an investor talk, I, I wanna take you down this road just a little bit further sure. about how, when there of course are issues and viruses in our food supply, how you know basically trust mix can keep us from having to slaughter uh, endless amounts of animal. Can you talk animals? Can you talk to us about this, please? Sure. <clears throat> we were discussing on on possibilities. You know, where where the pot uh, potential growth for Trustpix? And what we were looking at is that since we are right now working with companies like Cargill and JBS, and they're two of the largest food processors in the planet, and and specifically in their beef sectors, and we're. And so the, trans, uh, the models that we're trying to build with them, the, the financial models for TrustPix, which we're trying to build with them, uh, is about transactions. So the more pounds or more kilograms or more head that they sell, the more that TrustPix will make. So when you think of it that way, well, what are opportunities? Well, the opportunities right now is we're seeing that hundreds of millions of, of pigs are slaughtered every year because of the African swine fever. We're seeing millions uh, and millions of chickens are slaughtered because of the bird flu or the avian flu. And what if TrustPix can partner up with other companies to reduce the need to just slaughter herds or, or, or flocks of these animals just because nobody knows which animals infected and which are not. And if we can reduce that from hundreds of millions to tens of millions, well, all of those animals that goes into the food supply chain now potentially could be tracked by trust picks and going back to transactional model that could be extremely profitable for us. Well, speaking of trust, you certainly know how to cultivate that with your team. We saw that in your most recent AGM, you extended options not only to management and your team, but to contractors that are currently working with you. Everyone must be delighted. They're very excited. And, and it was not just the, the Canadian team, but uh, the, the teams that we work with worldwide. 
Uh, and, and our message is that uh, we understand uh, after COVID, business models change. People want to engage their, their, their work differently. Uh, but what never changes is that you want to reward the hard work and you want to really motivate them to be focused on the success of the company and really drive everybody to the same vision. And so that was the message that the new board of directors uh, want to do. And, and I strongly, strongly uh, recommended that to, to our board. And, and they're just like, yeah, that is the way we need to go. And now Trustbix is finally at that scale up uh, stage, that next stage, because we've ran many pilots. We've now got some significant uh, uh, agreements in place and we know there's going to be more coming. Well, thank you so much for the update today. And again, for those of you out there who are new to Trustbix, again, very large contracts with the Cargill and the JVS, a scalable level right now, record earnings last year. They're moving forward. Great team in place. Thank you so much for joining us today, Hubert. Thank you, Tracy. Have a great day.